Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn English Grammar Effectively. I run online files and spoken English classes. Interested people can contact me through email. My email address is given in the description box. So kindly check it out. We have already completed the series of tenses as well as WH words. And we have already started the series of verbs and we have completed part 1. Today we are going to learn part 2. All these parts are very 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 important for all of you because I have designed this course keeping all the levels of students as well as all kinds of exams such as competitive exams, IELTS, TOEFL, SET, GRE and spoken English in mind. So do watch, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin. Let's start our part 2 with non-finite verb. A non-finite verb does not show tense. It does not act like a verb. It is known as the verb type needed to form at least one sentence. So, it is never the main verb of a sentence. There are three types of non-finite verbs. First, gerund. Second, participle. And third, infinitive. We are going to see each one of them in detail. For example, Roma hates working. So here hates. It shows tense. That is why this is finite verb and this doesn't show tense. Working. That is why this is non-finite verb. Same way. My cousin hated working. So hated shows finite verb because it shows tense. Simple past. Whereas here working. It doesn't indicate any tense. That is why this is non-finite verb. A finite verb agrees with its subject and shows tense. We have already seen this finite verb in part 1. If you have not watched, kindly watch it. For example... My brother went to school to become a doctor. So here, my brother, that is subject, went. That is finite verb because it shows tense, that is past tense. And become, to become, that is non-finite verb because it doesn't show tense. Let's see kinds of non-finite verb. So, there are three kinds. Kinds means types. Gerund, pa participle and infinity. So, here you will get three more types of participle. Present participle, past participle, perfect participle. We will see each. Okay, first gerund. A gerund is a verb form. Which functions as a noun. Here verb with ing form work as a noun or subject that is gerund. For example, later on we will see. First of all let's see the structure. Verb with ing. Natives use gerunds as they sound more natural in speech. Let's see examples. First, swimming is the best exercise. So, 
here swimming swim that is verb with ing that is swimming and here it works as a noun swimming is the best exercise so swimming here it works as noun so that is gerund second reading is a good habit see in the picture the girl is reading so reading so read that is verb v1 form plus ing and it becomes reading so that is called gerund and it works in a sentence as a noun third smoking is injurious to health so here smoking smoke v1 form plus ing so smoking and it becomes gerund fourth one he likes running so here likes that is verb and running that is gerund run plus ing here it works as an object of a verb next i am thinking of running so of that is preposition and here gerund is running run plus ing so here it works as an object of preposition next my new hobby is running so is that is verb and running that is gerund run that is v1 form plus ing running so here this works as a subject complement next running is a good way to stay healthy so here is that is verb and running run plus ing so running that is gerund and here it works as the subject of a verb let's do exercise make gerund okay five sentences are given and in bracket you have v1 form of the verb so here you have to make it gerund so you have to add ing with it do it now then we will check answers hope you have completed let's check answers first hunt that is v1 form and we have added ing so it becomes gerund so hunting deer is not allowed in this country second children love making sand castles so make in bracket make is given so make that is v1 form and you have to add ing along with it so making third i am tired of waiting wait is given in the bracket so put ing along with it so it becomes waiting that is gerund he likes reading poetry so read is given add ing and it becomes reading that is gerund he was punished for telling a lie so tell is written in the bracket and you have to add ing so telling that is gerund let's move to another type participles so there are three kinds of participles first present second past and third that is perfect participle so in present participle you have to use v1 plus ing structure in past participle you have to use v3 form that is past participle and in perfect forms for perfect participle you have to use having plus v3 in active voice and if you are using passive voice then you have to use having plus b plus v3 form v3 form that is past participle first of all we will see participles participles are structures that are actually made from verbs let's see 
types or kinds of participles first present participle here in bracket it is written ending with ing that is called present participle with verb second past participle ending ed d t e n o r or n at the end perfect participle ending with on n or n at the end now let's see uses of all three participles first all these work as an adjective in a sentence to create verb tense to create the passive voice adding ing to the base form of a verb creates the present participle to show continuous action so that is present participle the structure v1 plus ing v1 means base form of the verb let's see examples first they are sitting now so this shows present continuous tense and sitting sit plus ing sitting that is present participle second we were talking so past continuous tense so talking that is v1 plus ing that is present participle third one he will be coming at the airport in an hour so this is future continuous tense so coming that is present participle come plus ing see the structure he has been playing for an hour this is present perfect continuous tense playing play plus ing v1 plus ing that is present participle fifth we had been studying english grammar all day so this is the example of past perfect continuous tense and study plus ing study this is called present participle she will have been working on the project for two weeks so this is the example of future perfect continuous tense so here working work plus ing that is present participle let's see usage and example of present participle so first as a part of the continuous form of a verb it works so for example she is reading a novel read plus ing it works as an adjective in a sentence for example the smiling boy is my cousin so smiling smile plus ing it works after adverbs in a sentence for example i saw him crossing the street cross plus ing it works as this verb with the verbs so for example don't waste time playing computer game so playing play plus ing for two actions at the same time for example he left the room laughing laugh plus ing let's see some more examples a barking dog is behind me barking bark plus ing that is present participle her speech was interesting so interesting interest plus ing interesting present participle i saw the birds flying in the sky flying fly plus ing so flying that is present participle 
Seeing the mother, the child stopped crying. So C plus ing, cry plus ing, present participle. The function being over, we went home. B plus ing, being. Let's do exercise. Combine the following sentences by using present participle. Okay, first, second and third. Three are given. So, start doing and then we will discuss. Let's discuss answers. First, question is, we saw the passengers, they were waiting for the train. So, two sentences are given and you have to join with the help of present participle. So, answer is, we saw the passengers waiting for the train. Here, you have to understand the meaning first, context first and then you have to do here you cannot put they and were. Why? Because they is used here for passengers. We have already written passengers. So here they were will be deleted. And after that waiting. So the same thing will come. That is why answer is we saw the passengers waiting for the train. Next. Please help that blind beggar. He is crossing the road. So try to understand the context meaning and then frame. Here answer would be please help that blind beggar crossing the road. He is, he is given for blind beggar. So don't rip it. So that is why here present participle you need to use. Okay, third one. Our teacher took a piece of chalk in his hand. He began to write on the blackboard. So answer is taking a piece of chalk in his hand our teacher began to write on the blackboard. See all this uh, variety of uh, sentences are very useful in IELTS. GRE, SET and TOEFL. Next we will see past participle. Past participle is a type of verb that describes an action has taken place in the past. Here structure that is given V3. Examples. First, spoken words cannot be revoked. So, revoked and spoken, that is V3 form. Second, when she came, the train had stopped. So, had stopped, that is past participle. She has lied to me too many times. Has lied. Past participle. How to use that is already shown in the series of tenses. So kindly watch all videos regarding with tenses. Fourth one. He should have completed by the end of this year. Should have completed. This is past participle. V3 form. Completed. Have completed. Then fifth one. They found the house burnt. V3 form. Burnt. That is past participle. Let's do exercise. Fill in the blanks with proper past participle of the verb given in the brackets. First, throw out 
away that blank glass. Break is there. So what is the V3 form of break? Break broke, broken. So here broken will come. That way you have to do all these five exercises. Do it now. Then we will check answers. Hope you have done. Let's start checking. First, broken. As I will, I have already explained. Second, did you find out your lost pen? Lose is given. So what is V3 form of lose? Lost. We have hard on money. On. V3 form on. Richa look. Worried yesterday. Worry V3 form worried. I am pleased to see you. Please. So pleased V3 form. Let's go to next type. That is perfect participle. Perfect participle describes the action was completed in the past. Structure having plus V3 in active voice. If you are framing passive sentence, then having plus B plus V3 form. Use, it makes the sentence simpler and shorter. Express, it means sequencing. It shows sequencing. If there are more than two actions, this participle happened first. It means it comes first. It is used to emphasize that the first action has been completed before the second action begins. How to join two sentences by using the perfect participle that is shown in the example. Let's do with the help of example. First I finished my homework. I went out to play. Now how to join? Having finished my homework, I went out to play. First action completed that I finished my homework. Then I went out. So that is why with first action, having finished my homework. Next, after we landed, we took a break and went to the convention. So, having landed, we took a cab and went to the convention center. Third one. The passenger did not find the suitcase in the compartment. He was disappointed. Not having found the suitcase in the compartment, the passenger was disappointed. Here, negative sentence is given. That is why we have to frame that way. Don't change the meaning while changing the structure. Let's see more examples. Here, you have to use the structure. If you are using active voice, then having plus V3. If you are using passive voice, then having plus B plus V3. First, having finished that training, they will be qualified doctors. So, this is active voice. So that is why you have to use having plus V3 form. Having and then finished. Second, having delivered the lecture, she left the conference hall. Active voice. Having completed the report, she took away all her books. Having completed, this is perfect participle. That is having plus V3 form you have to use in active. Fourth one, having been decided the place, it will be informed. So, this is passive. So, having, then be, then V3. Having been chosen the item, it will be said. So, having plus be plus V3. So, this is passive voice. You have to stick to the grammar rules and structure. 
Having been to Paris, I wrote an article on a filter. Okay, let's do exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate perfect participles given in the brackets. Okay, see here. Here it is already mentioned, see have and rest is given in the bracket. So you have to write appropriate. So here first, having rested, we continued our journey. Second, the we, the crew said to work with the will. So in bracket, have fail is given. So having fail, having plus V3. Then in third, Blank him president, the people gave him their loyal support. So having elected him, the people having taken their seats. Why? Because have and take, a, take is given in the bracket. So having taken. Now participles, let's compare all three participles. Present participle. Past participle and perfect participle. So first of all we will see present participle. First example is mentioned. Have you ever seen a peacock dancing? So dancing. Dance plus ing. See the structure. In bracket it is given. So dance plus ing dancing. That is present participle. Past participle you have to use V3 form. I have lived an interesting life. So have lived V3 form. Perfect participle. Having interviewed me very hard. They gave me a letter of appointment. So having interviewed, having V3 form. Here present participle, the mother left the baby crying. Cry plus ing. Past participle, V3 form. Take off the torn shirt and put on a new one. So torn, V3 form. Then in perfect participle, having won the toss, we decided to go for batting. So having won. Here having that is perfect participle plus you have to add V3 form of the verb. Next locking. Don't keep me waiting for long. So waiting wait plus ing that is present participle. It was difficult to pull out that cow stuck in the mud. Stuck V3 form that is past participle. Here, having failed twice, he didn't like to appear at the examination again. So, having failed, that is perfect participle. Here, locking the front door, we went out for shopping. So, here, locking, lock plus ing, present participle. The doctor said that you have broken your leg. So, have broken, that is past participle. Having taken lunch, I rested for a while. So, having taken Perfect participle. Here, he left home deciding never to return. So, decide plus ing that is present participle. Here, deceived by his friends, he lost all hope. So, here, deceived that is V3 form that is past participle. Example, having been threatened once, he never dared to do or anything against him that is Passive voice and this is perfect participle. That is why having plus B plus V3 form is mentioned. Last one. Don't get down a running bus. So run plus ing. Driven by hunger, he stole a piece of bread. Driven V3 form. So past participle. Having finished the work, the students went to play. Having finished, that is perfect participle. Let's do exercise. Combine the following pairs of sentences by making use of participles. Here you have to combine all three types. Present, past, perfect, participles. Whatever is suitable. Okay. These are four sentences and you have to combine. You have to join. Now start doing. I am giving you time. Then we will discuss.
होप यू हैव डन लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट हैविंग स्टार्टेड और स्टार्टिंग अर्ली वी अराइव एट नून सो हियर यू कैन यूज प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल और परफेक्ट पार्टिसिपल हियर वी स्टार्टेड अर्ली वी अराइव एट नून इन दिस ओके सेकेंड दे मैट अ मैन ही वॉज कैरिंग अ लोड ऑफ वुड दैट इज द सेंटेंस सो हाउ टू ज्वाइन विथ दिस पार्टिसिपल तो दे मैट अ मैन कैरिंग I have already explained. He was that is given for man. That is why remove it. And then you have to use carrying a load of wood. So this is present participle. Third one. He says his stick. He rushed to the door. So you can use a saying. Says plus I in this. So present participle. Or you can use having says. Both are correct. so here both will come he stick he rush to the door last one the steamer was delayed by a storm steamer came into port a day late so how to turn this being delayed by a storm the steamer came into a port a day late okay let's do infinitive an infinitive is formed from the word to together with the base form that is v1 form of a verb such as to write to stop to see and so on infinitives function as a noun adverb or adjective in a sentence For example, to go on holiday. See the picture. To clean kitchen utensils. Now let's see the sentence formation. The infinitive form of a verb plus complement plus modifier. Modifier means adverb. so here example is mentioned i want to hide the treasure quickly see the picture want that is verb to hide to infinitive that is why this is infinitive the treasure that is complement this is direct object and quickly that is modifier that is an adverb infinitive phrases can act as first nouns for example sonia forgot to turn off the oven so here to turn off the oven that is infinitive phrase so here to turn off the oven is the direct object next to be on time is important in us culture so here to be this act as a noun second adverbs it works as an adverbs how so sonia ran to avoid being late so to to infinitive to avoid being late this is infinitive phrase so to avoid being late this describes ran third it also works as an adjective sonia has a job to do so here to do that is infinitive phrase so to do here describes job let's see more examples to love grammar is hard second my goal is to pass language art so here to pass that is infinitive third i want to swim in the pool i would like to thank you for appreciating my work so to thank that is infinitive 
Lewis wanted to perform that act to perform that is an infinitive. Kelly climbed the mountain to see the view to see that is infinitive. You are so easy to talk to to talk to that is an infinitive. Nobody wants to get into troubles unnecessarily. So here to get that is infinitive. I am willing to join the to to join that is infinitive. These children are eager to be called on the stage for performance. So to be that is infinitive. Hope you understood well this infinitive. Let's see usage and example of infinitive. To indicate a purpose of an action, we have to use this infinitive. For example, he bought some flowers to give to his wife. So, to give. So, that is infinitive. I shall lock the door to prevent theft. So, to prevent that is infinitive. It is also used as direct object of the sentence. For example, they like to read novel. To read, infinitive. We eat to grow. So, to grow that is infinitive. It is also used as subject complement. How? So, that is shown in the example. For example, his aim is to fly. To fly, infinitive. What is important to maintain? Healthy diet. So, to maintain that is infinitive. It also works as an adjective. For example, this is the best time to practice. To practice, infinitive. I have some clothes to wash. To wash, infinity. It also works as an adverb. For example, we must observe to understand. To understand that is infinitive. I can't wait to see. To see that is also infinitive. It also works as an after adjective. For example, it is important to be patient. So here to be. It is wonderful to have close friends. So to have that is infinity. It also works after object. That is noun or pronoun referring to a person. For example, can I call him to me? So, to meet, that is infinitive. We invited Keith and Keen to attend the birthday party. So, to attend, that is infinitive. It is also used with question word. For example, what to do? To do, that is infinitive. How to expand business? So, to expand, that is infinitive. Infinity. So these are the usages with examples. See, one exercise is for you. I have already mentioned fill in the blanks by putting infinitive with the verbs given in the bracket. So we are happy to see you. Here just you have to put two, and after that, whatever is written in the bracket that you have to write. You are eager. Here learn is given. So put two before that and write to learn. New lesson. Aren't you? Is he ready to help me? Because help is written. Before that you need to write to. To make it infinity. Are you not happy to hear the news? So to hear. That is infinity. He does not like to go to school late. So go. So to go. That is infinity. I am eager to receive a letter from my friend. So receive. So before that you need to put to. To receive. Let's see gerund versus infinity. See the structure. In gerund you have to use V1 plus ING. Whereas in infinitive before V1 you need to write TO2. A gerund is a verb form which functions as a noun. The structure is verb plus ing and that works as a noun in a particular sentence. Whereas infinitive is formed from the word to together with the base form that is v1 form of a verb. And the structure is before v1 you need to write to, to plus v1. Come to gerund. Gerunds sound more natural when used as a subject or complement of a sentence. Whereas 
Infinitives sound a little strange. <coughs> Let's see the examples of gen. Studying is important. Studying, study plus ing works as a noun in this sentence. I love drinking milk. Drink plus ing. I enjoy eating seafood. So eating. So eat plus ing. It is as an object. Giving is better than receiving. So giving plus we are receiving. Receive plus ing and give plus ing. Here in infinitive to study is important. I love to drink milk. To drink. I like to eat seafood. To give is better than to receive. Let's see transitive verbs. It means it has an object. Transitive verbs are used with a direct object. For example, she played the piano. Played that is transitive verb. And the piano that is direct object. So transitive verb has direct object. Next example, Joy will write an email. So will write that is transitive verb and an email that is direct object. My mother took me to the market. So took that is transitive verb and me that is direct object. See here, transitive verbs say I need object. Whereas here, intransitive verbs say, I don't need object. I have made it to clear your concept regarding with transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Intransitive verbs means they don't have an object. For example, she arrived early. So, this is intransitive verb because after that, adverb is given and not object. The girls sang. The girls, that is subject, sang, that is intransitive verb because after sang, nothing is given. The child cried loudly. Cried, that is intransitive verb because after cried, loudly is given, that is adverb. The same verb can be transitive in one sentence and intransitive in other. For example, verb fire. Transitive verb, the boss fired the whole team. Here, fired, that is transitive verb because after fired, we get object. Whereas here, the spark plug fire full stop is there then it is intransitive verb grow they will grow tomatoes next year so here will grow that is transitive verb because after that tomatoes are given that is object here the population will grow full stop is there nothing is given so will grow that is intransitive verb run he is running coaching classes now. So, he is running that is transitive verb because after that coaching classes that is object. Here, the water is running. Full stop. Nothing is given. So, here, this intransitive verb doesn't have any object. That is why this is intransitive. <coughs> then, stop. She stopped the car. Stop. So, here, that is transitive verb because after transitive verb, here the car that is an object. Here the car stop, full stop. That is why this is intransitive verb. Let's do exercise. Find out transitive intransitive verbs from the following sentences.
okay now you have to do it now start doing it. then we will discuss let's discuss answers here first she carried the bag here carried that is transitive verb why because after carried the bag is given that is direct object second a flock of birds is flying over our heads here is flying that is intransitive verb so here that is given is flying third one please buy me a dog so buy that is transitive verb because me that is direct object fourth one they laugh so hard that they could not talk for a few minutes here laugh and could not talk both are intransitive verbs here we end part 2 we will meet in my part 3 session soon till then stay happy and keep watching thank you so much